why should you use the job scheduler? So after API 21, you're able to use the job scheduler. Why use that over the alarm manager? And and a lot of these reasons are because after 21, there's a lot of um, um, uh, restrictions for Android for background tasks and services, um, which alarm manager doesn't do automatically for you. So you pretty much have to use the the job scheduler. Now, um, um, uh, before that, before API 21, there is no job scheduler, so you can't really use job scheduler. So you would you would use alarm manager if you're below API 21. But after that, alarm manager is very crucial because it has so many features that make it it a lot easier to create services. Um, uh, for example. If you need to download something from the inter the um, uh, internet every hour, for example, with the job scheduler, all you have to do is sign that up, and that's pretty much it. It does it for you. Whenever your phone restarts, that restarts. Whenever you don't have any internet, you can put in um, uh, some parameters inside of the job scheduler so that it only works when you have networking you don't have to put it um, uh, for the the alarm manager you have to put in extra um, um, uh, code to test to see if there is network and you have to do it yourself but with job scheduler it does it for you so that the job scheduler will do it for you a, um, a certain u use cases where you only require it to only have networking. Only do this if you have networking. Um, uh, only do this if you're unmetered. So only if you're in a Wi-Fi. Only do this if you're plugged in. And the job scheduler has that out of the box. You can do that with just one line of code. With the alarm manager, you have to do that with you know 30 or 40 lines of code just to do that. So that makes it a lot quicker. Um, it does it exactly right every time. That's why you would use the job scheduler over the alarm manager because it's a lot simpler. It does things for you. Now, let's say you have an app and you want the job scheduler for API 21 and up and then the alarm manager for API 20 and down. For compatibility um, reasons, you don't want to restrict your app to only API 21 and up. You could have the job scheduler run on API 21 and up and then create alarm manager API 20 and down. But that, that kind of defeats the purpose of the job scheduler to make it easy for you. So to make this a, little, um, a lot easier, you, you would need to download a library. And I believe it's called Firebase um, uh, Dispatcher, Firebase Dispatcher. And what this does is you make one job scheduler, and if that's a, that's higher than API 21, it will use a job scheduler. If it's under API 21, it will use the alarm manager. No extra code intended, and it'll do it exactly very similar to how the job scheduler works. It will do it. It will only run things if it has network, or it will only run things when it has battery no extra code intended with this and it makes it a lot easier. All you have to do is just add a library and it does it for that. That It's created by Firebase so by Google pretty much and I think it's only a few kilobytes so it's practically nothing for your for your app. There's no reason why you shouldn't do it. I mean if you were having your own services just to, just to change one service parameter such as you know from having only a network to to an unmetered network, you have to change your whole code w with your your job scheduler and also your alarm manager. With this library, this might save you hours upon days of work um, with just one line of code, and that's why you should use the job scheduler and the Firebase job dispatcher.